Okay, we will now discuss about differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions. Now, you'll just have, you'll just have to remember the basics that, let's say, we have a trigo function of a certain angle. So, let's say, for example, sine of a certain angle is equal to x, okay? And if in this case, our um, unknown here is the value of the angle, okay? Then, therefore, we have to do inverse trigonometry, wherein the angle theta is equal to the arc sine of x. Okay? Now, you should not be confused as uh, trigonometric functions with algebraic functions because when you say arc sine okay, of a certain value, okay, that is not definitely equal to 1 over the sine of x. Okay? This is totally wrong. Okay? Algebraic functions are totally different from trigonometric functions. Okay? So, this is what you mean by inverse trigonometry. Okay? Now, um, you have what you call arc sine, okay, inverse sine or arc sine, okay, so arc sine of a value is the same as writing arc sine of x, for example, or we also have, let's say, arc cosine of x, or that's arc cosine of x. Okay, and then you have arc tan of x, or you write that as arc tan of x. Now, how do we find the derivative of inverse trigonometric functions? So, this is what you call inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, okay so we have here different formulas where we just, which we just need to carefully follow and apply for in order for us to solve for the derivatives uh, derivative of functions that involve inverse trigonometry okay so let's have here examples okay now by the way for the formulas let's say you have uh, arc sine of u u here is uh, uh, symbolizes any function of x wherein if we need to get the derivative with respect to x that's simply equal to 1 over square root of the quantity 1 minus u squared then the whole thing multiplied to the derivative of u okay now for our cosine of u that's the same as arc sine of u but you just multiply negative 1 okay for arc tan this one cotangent second and cosecant Okay, so let's have examples. First example, we'll write it down here for the solution. Okay, first function is you have y is equal to arc sine of the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, so we'll just have to apply this formula that the arc sine of u is 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared times the derivative of u. So, in this case, our u here will be the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay? So, that the first derivative of this function, or the dy over dx, or y prime, is simply equal to, okay, you just follow this formula. You have 1 over, okay, square root of 1 minus our u is square root of 1 minus x squared and this quantity of u is raised to 2. Okay. There you go. And then times the derivative of u which is the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay. We'll solve this step by step so that you won't be uh, confused. Now, 
a square root of any value, when you square that, that's just equal to the value itself. Okay, what I'm talking about is, let's say you have a value of a, square root of a, let's say for example, if you raise the whole thing to 2, okay, and we know that square root is the same as the radicand raised to an exponent 1 half. So that when you raise it, raise everything to 2, okay, it's the same as multiplying the exponent 1 half to 2, which is equal to 1. And then therefore, that's equal to the radicand itself. Okay, so again, when you raise a square root to 2, that simply deletes okay, the radical sign, or the square root. Okay? So in this case, since this, the whole thing square root 1 minus x squared is raised to 2, then it, we could simply remove the square root of that. So to continue the solution, okay? We now have 1 over square root of 1 minus, okay, square root of this 1 squared is equal to simply the radicand y minus x squared. So we have 1 minus x squared, okay, so as you can see now we have removed the square root, okay, and everything here is under square root, and then again you have the derivative of the square root 1 minus x squared. Okay, next. Okay. Um, okay, we will simplify the denominator. Before that, we isolate first the solution for the, the, the derivative of 1 minus x squared, square root of that. Okay, so love the derivative of 1 minus x squared or 1 minus x squared is simply raised to 1 half. So that in here we could apply power rule. Okay, so for the power rule we just bring down the exponent and then you have okay, the base raised to the original exponent minus 1. So 1 half minus 1 is equal to negative 1 half. And then times the derivative of the base. Okay, so in this, is, in this case, 1, derivative of 1 is 0, and derivative of negative x squared is negative 2x. Okay, so we could cancel 2 right here, and that the derivative of square root 1 minus x squared is simply equal to, you have negative x over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, so since the exponent here is negative, if you transfer that to the denominator, it becomes positive and any, any value raised to 1 half is equal to its square root. Okay, so we have simplified the derivative of square root 1 minus x squared. We go back to the, deriv the first derivative of the original function. So we now have 1 over square root of, okay, we will distribute the negative sign here so we have 1 minus 1 that's 0 and then negative times negative x squared that's positive x squared so we have x squared okay square root of x squared okay and you have multiplied to the derivative of square root of 1 minus x squared that's simply equal to negative x over square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay. Now, x squared. Square root of x squared. Okay. Is simply the same as x squared whole thing raised to 1 half. And that's just the same as the value of x. Okay. Because we could cancel. 2 times 1 half is equal to 1. And x raised to 1 is simply equal to x. Okay. So we now have here y prime, therefore, is equal to, you have 1 over x times negative x over 
square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay? And x here we could cancel. Cancel. Therefore, we have negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay? So, there you go. This is the first derivative of the given function y equals arc sine of square root 1 minus x squared. But, um, it's sometimes, or it is, uh, we could say it's improper to have a fraction wherein there is a radical at the denominator. So, as much as possible, we transfer or we get rid of uh, radicals at the denominator. Okay, so make this proper. Just multiply the denominator by itself. Okay. Then also at the numerator, we have 1 minus x squared. Okay. So, a square root of a value multiplied by itself is equal to the radicand. Okay. So, you now have negative square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay. All over 1 minus x squared. So, this will be our final answer. Okay, so next we have we get the first derivative of the function y equals r cosine of x over 1 minus x. Now we just have to remember in the formula that the derivative of the r cosine of u is simply equal to, it's just the same as that of r sine u, but we just have, uh, we multiply it to negative 1. Okay? So, in this case, uh, so we rewrite our second function. Okay, y equals r cosine of x over 1 minus x. So, our u here will be x over 1 minus x. Alright? So, um, we now have the derivative y prime or dy over dx would be equal to negative 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared or our u is x over 1 minus x everything raised to 2 so we'll just extend it this square root uh, like that and then times the derivative of u, which is x over 1 minus x. Okay? Okay. So, we will simplify this complex fraction inside the radical symbol. So, you have a negative 1 in the numerator. And then, inside here, we have, okay, so the, the power here, or the exponent of x over 1 minus x, we could distribute that to both the numerator and the denominator. So, we'll have 1 minus x squared all over the quantity 1 minus x squared, okay, then again, times the derivative of x over 1 minus x. Okay, next. We have, let's simplify the denominator. Okay, right here. So the, <coughs> okay, the common denominator, okay, we'll have the quantity 1 minus x squared. And in this case, for 1 to have this denominator, it should be also multiplied to 1 minus x squared. And then, we have minus x squared. Okay? Then, times the derivative of x minus 1 of uh, 1 over x. So, let's directly get now the derivative of this one. Okay? You have, we could use quotient rule. We have the denominator 1 minus x squared. 
And then for the numerator, we copy the denominator 1 minus x times the derivative of numerator, which is 1. And then minus the numerator x. Then the derivative of 1 minus x, which is negative 1. Okay? The derivative of 1 minus x is 0. Then uh, ne uh, negative x derivative is negative 1. So we have 0 minus 1 or we have negative 1. Okay? So next... Okay, we'll have here of negative 1. Okay, um, the denominator 1 minus x is raised to 2. And square root of this one is simply equal to 1 minus x. Okay, so if, uh, if a square of a value is inside a square root, then we could simply remove uh, the radical and the exponent 2. So, it's simply equal to 1 minus x. So, ang naiwan na lang sa square root is ang numerator. So, the square root of, okay, 1 minus x raised to 2, let's simplify, or let's expand, you'll have 1 minus 2x plus x squared, then minus x squared. Okay. So, we have x squared minus x squared, that's 0. Okay. And then you have here, you could simplify. You have 1 minus x plus x. Okay. 1 minus x plus x. So negative x plus x, that's 0. And then you have here 1 minus x raised to 2. Okay. So in this case, you now have, we could cancel this, 1 over, uh, 1 minus x squared over 1 minus x is simply equal to 1 minus x. Okay? Then, you have y prime now equal to, okay, you okay, numerator times numerator, so we have negative 1 times 1, that's simply neg equal to negative 1. And then we have here the denominator, Okay, we have, uh, we first write this one, we have 1 minus x quantity times the square root of 1 minus 2x, okay? okay. And so we, we actually have to enclose 1 minus x with the, uh, with the parenthesis so that Okay, uh, square root of 1 minus 2x will be distributed to both of the terms in, inside this parenthesis. If, if it would be totally different value if we don't have parenthesis here because it, only, we, it would mean that the square root of 1 minus 2x will only be distributed to the negative x. Okay, so we could actually already declare this as our final answer but since we have a radical at the denominator, Okay, let's multiply both the numerator and the denominator of that radical, that square root of 1 minus 2x, so that we could remove radical symbols in the denominator. Okay, what we multiply in the denominator, we also do in the numerator, so that it's the same as multiplying everything to 1, and that does not change the value. Okay, so we have negative square root of 1 minus 2x, Okay, and all over. So this uh, radical multiplied by itself removes the radical. And what is left is the radical 1 minus 2x. So we have 1 minus x times 1 minus 2x. Okay, so we could, we have this as our more proper um, ex expression of the answer. Okay. So let's now move on to the next question or the next function to differentiate. Okay, that would be number three. Okay, arc cotangent of the tangent to x. Okay, we have y okay. equals cotangent, arc cotangent of the tangent of 2x. Okay. Okay, so in this case, we have the arc 
cotangent of the tangent of 2x. Now, for the differentiation formula, our cotangent of u, okay, u is um, a function of x that's equal to negative 1 over 1 plus u squared times derivative of u. In this case, our u here is tangent of 2x. Okay? So, in this case, you have first derivative is equal to, we'll just follow with the formula, differentiation formula. Okay, we have negative 1 over 1 plus u squared, or that's tangent of 2x squared. Okay, then times the derivative of u, which is tangent of 2x. Alright, then y prime we now have okay negative 1 over okay from our trigonometric identities okay for recap you have 1 plus tangent u squared it's simply equal to second second of u squared so in this case this one 1 plus tangent 2x squared is simply equal to second of 2x squared. Okay? And then you have uh, derivative of tangent 2x. Okay? Derivative of tangent is okay, differentiation of trigonometric functions. Derivative of tangent u is simply equal to second squared of u times derivative of u with respect to x. So, therefore, here, in this case, our u will be 2x. So, derivative of tangent of 2x is simply equal to a okay, second squared or second of 2x squared times derivative of 2x, which is 2. Okay? So, we could now actually um, cancel. Okay? And then... The answer would be simply negative 2. Okay? So, this is the derivative of the arc cotangent of tangent 2x is negative 2. Okay? Now, the last question. We have a last function to differentiate. That's y equals cotangent or cotangent of x plus arc tangent of 2 plus x all over 1 minus 2x. So, what we are going to do here, since we have two terms separated by this plus sign, what we will do is we'll do the addition rule. We'll get, differentiate this first and then after that, we differentiate this and then combine the results. So, we have y prime or dy over dx Okay, our cotangent, okay, derivative of our cotangent is 1 over, okay, uh, rather negative 1 over 1 plus u squared, and our u in this case will be x. So, we have x squared, okay, times the derivative of u, which is x, or that is equal to 1, derivative of x is equal to 1, and then plus, we have, okay, our tan, Okay, formula for our ton of u, well, we have 1 over 1 plus u squared. So, our u in this case will be 2 plus x over 1 minus 2x. So, we have um, 1 over 1 plus our u squared. u here is 2 plus x all over 1 minus 2x. Everything raised to 2 times the derivative of u which is 2 plus x over 1 minus 2x okay all right next okay we just copy this one you have negative 1 over 1 plus x squared okay and for this case we will distribute the power uh the exponent 2 to the numerator and denominator so we'll have plus, okay, we have 
1 over a 1 plus 2 plus x squared over 1 minus 2x quantity squared times the derivative of 2 plus x all over 1 minus 2x that would be we'll apply quotient rule so the for the denominator we'll have the original denominator squared okay and then for the numerator we copy the denominator 1 minus 2x times the derivative of the numerator which is 2 plus x derivative of that is 1 and minus copy the numerator 2 plus x okay and the derivative of the denominator we have negative 2 okay derivative of 1 minus 2x is negative 2 right so we will now further simplify okay negative 1 over 1 plus x squared okay and then plus okay for this factor in order for it to have similar denominator okay it's uh greatest common multiple at uh, least common multiple is 1 minus 2x quantity raised to 2 and then for this term to have this denominator you multiply its denominator 1 with 1 minus 2x squared and you also do the same with the numerator so its numerator also is 1 minus 2x squared so that this value divided by itself is just equal to 1 okay then we have plus 2 plus x raised to 2 quantity and we have 1 in the numerator okay next we have 1 times 1 min uh, denominator 1 minus 2x squared so we could actually cancel cancel this one then the numerator we have 1 minus 2x then negative 1 times negative 2 that's positive 2 times 2 okay positive 2 times 2 is positive 4 and then positive 2 times x is positive 2x okay so we could cancel negative 2x plus 2x is equal to 0 all right so we'll further simplify we have negative 1 then over 1 plus x squared plus okay we have 1 over 1 minus 2x quantity squared let's expand that so you have 1 minus 4x plus 4x squared okay then you have plus 4 plus 4x plus x squared okay and then multiply it to 1 plus 4 that's 5 okay so you have negative 1 over 1 plus x squared plus okay we have the numerator 1 times 5 we have the numerator 5 then we have negative 4x plus 4x is equal to 0. Then you have 1 plus 4, that's 5. Plus, you have 4x squared plus x squared, that's 5x squared. So you could actually cancel 5, you have... So what's left now here, okay, is we have negative 1 over 1 plus x squared plus, okay... Since 5 was cancelled, we have 1. And over 1 plus x squared. Alright. So we have here. Okay. They have the same denominators. So you'll just, to combine, you just copy the similar denominators. And then we add the numerators. Negative 1 plus 1. And that is equal to 0. So therefore, the derivative of uh, this function is equal to zero. Grabe pagkataas, zero na the answer. Okay, so that's it. 
Now, uh, what you just have to remember uh, for the first time of uh, differentiation of uh, be it a transcendental or an algebraic function, it's difficult at first, but if you practice and practice and solve and solve and solve, that's when you will be able to get the skill of of a uh, faster for it to become faster in getting derivatives of any function that will be given to you okay